Me and my buddy Zay have our express orders back from CGC, so I'm really excited to open that up. And we are gonna crack that open here in about two seconds, so if you literally wait one. All right, so we're gonna cut it open. I got Zay with me now. We got Robuto in the house. And um, I think he sent four cards, I sent four cards. So I think is if the list is correct, how I sent them, his card should be first. He sent, he was actually really cool. He sent one of his nephew's cards, so that was really cool. I think, like, I don't, does you, does, do you think he's gonna get the gravity of like having a graded card? Like, no, I don't think so. I mean, I kind of credit him. Yeah. I mean, he's still Well, could. Cause if I was a kid and somebody was like, "Hey, here's your Charizard graded," I'd be like, "Well, how can I play with it?" You know what I'm saying? No, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. that. All right, well, let's try to get this open because, I mean, obviously you're super glad when they package something like incredibly good. This is actually the first time. Well, I mean, I've submitted something already. It just has not come in the mail yet. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the whole snow thing pushed us back an extra week so technically in theory we should have had this a week ago um, and actually after I get this opened I'm actually gonna have Rob open the rest of it so I don't see inside because I don't want to accidentally see the grades and actually Zade if you don't want to see them maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I don't know if you're trying to be surprised too no I mean like do you want to be surprised because if I have them facing towards you you're gonna see every no, single one all right, so Rob's gonna Rob's gonna open these up. I'm not gonna look. Oh, I'm okay. so excited! I'm so excited! So, am I good? Can I look? I yes. Can. Let's go! All right. I don't know if the camera. Even... So here they are. You can't really see. Oh yeah, I almost showed you all of them. There's eight of them right there. So I'm gonna use this little guy so you don't see what they are. And let's go ahead. And oh, actually, no, we gotta pull this one right. Cause I wonder, yeah, is this the first one? I just want to go in a row. Is this the first one? All right. So here is Zayd's nephew's card. So this is his Charizard V that he pulled. I'm sure he was super stoked whenever yeah. he pulled this. So uh, I kind of looked this over before I sent it. I thought it was like in pretty good shape, like maybe a nine, but I know that CGC is kind of hard, but I'm just going to guess nine. Um, so I mean, it's, he's a little kid, so he kind of just played with. I mean, yeah. So who knows? Well, yeah, because you know, kids got sticky fingers. So let's see what this is. Oh, that's actually a little surprising. Yeah. yeah. So, I understand that one. Yeah. So let's see and see. This is why we pay for subgrades. So it'll tell you why. So the centering was good. Nine. Surface was six point five. So that's probably where the, <laughs> the that's probably the yeah. that's probably where the little kid part yeah. comes in, right? Where you're like a little kid and your thumbs on Charizard's face and you're like you know eating gushers and playing with your Pokemon cards. But all right, that's not bad. Still a beautiful card. And I like honestly, I'm sure he's gonna be. Su it could be a two, and he'd probably be yeah. like super it stoked. It looks really nice on the little things. Yeah. So I know this next one, all right, so you can tell this is Japanese for sure. This is Zade's, um, I'm not gonna say it out loud, so let's just say, there we go. This is Zade's uh, 25th anniversary Japanese Charizard promo. So I thought this one looked really incredible, honestly. So I know with CGC, all right, like I know you get excited and you're like, this is a guaranteed 10 for sure, but with CGC, you have to understand that they're grading with like technology and lasers, and of course like normal eyesight as well, but I don't know. So I'm gonna just say low ball and just say 9.5, cause I don't, I don't know if we're gonna see a 10 today. Yeah, I don't know either now. It's but I mean, this is for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think, no, I think at the worst, this is a nine, at the worst. So let's just slide this on out. Oh, oh Pika. it's really good. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So the, the friend I got that from, yeah. as soon as he opened it from the pack, it he automatically put it on his sleeve and just, that's my phone, my bad, I turned it off. No, you're good. Uh, and he automatically just put it on his sleeve and put it up. That's so. amazing, yeah. I mean, you were saying like, cause I remember you were like, should I do it? Like, is this a good deal? And I was like, dude, that thing's really minty, honestly. So look at that. The centering is a 9.5. Surface 9.5, corners 9.5, edges 9.5. If you just would have just got a 10 on maybe a couple of things, it honestly probably would have been a 10. But man, this is gorgeous. I didn't understand how the, they would do the back because it's not like a like a square. Like yeah. The lines are it's faded, so I, I yeah. guess I didn't know how that one would. Yeah, the centering. I, I mean, yeah, I guess centering the centering was. like is a little bit. I don't know. It looks on point to me, but yeah, I, don't, I mean. Japanese. 
Yeah, Japanese cards are on point, so that's really cool. And there you go, yeah, it's your card. So the next one, let's go, keep it going. Another Japanese card, oh uh, yeah. And this one looks a little bit more tattered. I think this, I know which one this is. Which one, is that mine, right? Yeah, this is yours. These next two are gonna be yours. Yeah, the black, yeah, that oh, one's definitely, I don't, I, don't that I don't expect that one to be. This one is so sick. I just yeah, like the graphic on it. This Dude, one's, I've had this since I was like, probably a kid. Yeah. yeah, this one's from, whoa, 1998. So it's, I definitely, you know, had a stick. <laughs> All right, so he has sticky fingers. It looks like there's some little bit of damage right here, right here, or up there. It doesn't look like it's the best shape. So it's if you were like to a five, a five, anything. okay. So Zayd's gonna guess five. <laughs> What'd you get? What would you guess? Hmm, I'd probably say five as well. I looked right, at the solid. back. <laughs> so let's see. Here we go. Shout out Drampa, one of my favorites. Oh, oh I got a four. Okay. okay. So this. I, yeah, that's, but look, but look at that, the centering's a 9, which is amazing. Wow. Surface is a 3, so it means it probably has like scratches we can't even see. <coughs> and um, the corners are 4.5, and the edges are a 5, which is not bad. So, a little bit lower than we thought, but look, you got a swirl right there, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is, to me, one of the best Blastoise cards. Like, if anything, this might be the best I, I Blastoise like that one card. I the original. Oh, for sure. I like mean, the way he's standing. Yeah, these are what the, the CD promo. Yeah, from 1998. There we go. I think uh, your other Charizard was from 2016, and then obviously the Charizard V is from Darkness of Blade. It's not super old. Oh yeah, this is a treasure in my opinion. You know, in your last. I probably. I mean, I'm gonna keep them. Up. What was your last card? Oh yeah, I remember. The Char the other Charizard. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Am I missing one? I, I thought I sent four cards. Did I send another one? Huh. Can't remember. Let's see. All right, this is your Charizard from Expeditions, right? <clears throat> yeah, I don't understand the, how you would do the centering on that, to be honest. Yeah, I actually don't either. I know that's like a good, pretty good question with this kind of stuff, uh, with the Expedition cards in general. So this one looked really on point too. So I don't even know what I would guess on this. I'm gonna lowball and say eight. Lowball and say eight. eight. Okay. Um, uh, I'll say 8.5 maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh, nice. oh let's go. <laughs> yeah. Nice. There we go. And I could have looked at all these online, but I refused because that takes the fun out of all of this. Yeah, for sure. 9, 9, 9, and the edges are what got you an 8.5. That's kind of, I mean, it's not a bummer. Like you said, you're keeping this no matter what, yeah. so whatever. But look at that. This is honestly one of the coolest Charizards also. I think this is also available in a hollow and a reverse hollow, but the common or not even common, the non-holo is just sought after, just as sought after, honestly. As soon as I saw the other charger get a nine and a half, I was like, yeah. I don't care about the rest, really. Like, I care, but it's Yeah. Hard. I can't remember if I sent more than three cards. You I sent three chargers, didn't you? Yeah, so I didn't send four, I'm tripping. What? I don't remember if I sent another one, though. So this is three right now, I don't even know. But let's look <laughs> at this one. Let's go. What's the, which one is this? I don't even know which ones I sent anymore. Oh, this is this is my Evo Charizard. Okay. Nice. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That one's from what year? Uh, this one's also from 2016. Is this the English version? Yeah. And did I say 25th anniversary with yours over there? Obviously, like not. It's the 20th. So that's the yeah. 20th anniversary. And this was obviously from Evo. Uh, so this one, these ones are a lot harder. I don't know, I'm gonna lowball myself on this one. I thought this one had a really good chance of getting something really good, but honestly, whenever I traded it, um, I didn't notice that it had like white right there, whiting right there, and some other stuff on the front as well. So I don't know, maybe like an 8.5, or I wanna say a nine, but I don't know, I feel like the damage on the back is gonna bring it down a little bit, so let's just see. You know, maybe nine, right? I'm just, just gonna change it to nine. Oh. oh, okay. So yours got a 9.5, mine got an 8.5, and what brought me down? The corners, okay. The back? So, yeah, the back, like the, back the back corners were like, it's kind of hard to see, but that one's a pretty big white mark right there. 
and uh, so is this one actually it's really hard to tell with the glare and there's another one up there so I guess I get that and I guess I can't even get mad I wouldn't get mad anyways uh, I traded some Funko Pops I didn't want anymore and he gave me like these Charizard EX Blastoise EX Venusaur EX or not Venusaur yeah Venusaur there's a whole bunch of EX cards he gave me but he kept them in um, the sleeves with the with the backing on them, not in the penny sleeves. So I didn't see them until I got home, which whatever. I probably still would have did the trade anyways. So I just put that guy right here. And now I'm really excited about this because I know what these next two are. And for some reason I thought I sent my vintage Charizard, but I guess that is with my other order. I'll check. You sent the shiny fake or a Charizard? Yeah, know? yeah. So I know for sure this one is probably. I sent that one with Luis. Okay, I guess I'm tripping, I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go, my rainbow guy. Ooh, so I already knew I was gonna lowball myself at a nine with this one before I even sent it off, so I'm not really gonna expect it too much. And the next one is what I'm really hoping gets like a 10, I don't know. Okay, no. so yeah, we get a nine. And uh, oh, 9.5 on the surface, which is actually really good, especially because this card's like a full art, you know, easy to scratch. Uh, so I guess the centering could have been a little bit better in the corners and the edges, but all in all, I was really excited. I might put the clip of us pulling this because Luis opened my last ETB and we just <laughs> lost it. I was just kind of honestly down and out. I didn't think we were going to pull it. We opened up so many packs already and then Luis opened up my last ETB and pulled this on literally the second to last pack. So that was like, like you said, this is a memory, right? Like I don't really have any intention of like selling this or anything like that. So I think it was really cool. So I was going to be honest. I think this one, this next one, I'd be surprised. What is that one? Supposed to be? This next one. The Pokemon? Yeah, I'll show you. I can't say. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, I'll wait. It's a, uh, and obviously, yeah, we sent a whole bunch of Charizards, all right? Everybody's sending their Charizards. My other submission with Luis has a whole bunch of different cards that I actually cannot wait to get back. But this one, let's see, oh, is my personally my favorite one, Shiny Charizard, all right? So this one to me was like perfect centering. I checked for damage. I tried to check all that I could. I really inspected this one. And I thought this one had an honest shot at a 10 out of anything that I've submitted so far. Um, so I'm gonna lowball myself and say a 9.5 because I think this one did really well. Um, obviously I'd be super happy with a 10, but everybody knows with CGC it's like dang near impossible to get a 10. So <laughs> oh, I'm kind of nervous. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. I really thought, I really thought this was gonna get a 10. And you know what? What kept me from getting a 10 was uh, the centering could have been 9.5. And yeah, I, I trust CGC. They're an awesome company. On the come up, I love what they're doing. And uh, honestly, just super approachable, especially for like newer people like myself that have never really submitted anything. So the fact that they make it so hands-on, so easy to do, it's not so daunting. So honestly. Super stoked with that. I know what I have. This is a beautiful card. It could have been a two, and this is gonna go into the collection no matter what. And actually, I have some twos that I really like anyways. I like to collect low-grade cards. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I have more graded cards coming soon with Luis. They should be here in the next three or four weeks on a good day, but y'all know how crazy it is out there right now. So, until next time, I hope you guys have great pools. Go buy some slabs, go buy some sealed product, go do whatever you want and have some fun for the love of Pokemon and later.